John Carl, ABC News. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, when you were running for president, you said, quote, the biggest problems we're facing right now have to do with George Bush trying to bring more and more power into the executive branch and not go through Congress at all, and that's what I intend to reverse. So my question to you, has Congress's inability to do anything significant given you a green light uh, to push the limits of executive power, uh, even a duty to do so, or, or put another way, does it bother you more to be accused of being an imperial president pushing those limits or to be accused of being a do-nothing president who couldn't get anything done because you faced uh, dysfunctional Congress? Well, you know, I, I think that uh, I never have a green light. I'm bound by the Constitution. I'm bound by uh, separation of powers. Uh, there's some things we can't do. Congress has the power of the purse, for example. Uh, I would love to fund uh, a, a large infrastructure pro uh, uh, proposal right now that would put millions of people to work and boost uh, our GDP. Uh, we know we've got roads and bridges and airports and uh, you know, electrical grids that need to be rebuilt. Uh, but without the cooperation of Congress, what I can do is speed up permitting process, for, for example. I can make sure that uh, we're working with the private sector to see if we can uh, channel investment into much needed projects. Um, but ultimately, Congress has to pass a budget and authorize uh, spending. Uh, so I, I don't have a green light. 